Example 2.1b expands on our previous piece. We're using the same two chord structure, the E minor to F minor, but we've made a few changes. First, we've added more instruments. Second, we've changed the meter and the feel. And third, we've altered the harmony slightly. So let's take a look. We've added uh, a few synth parts. We have these uh, two synths, one and two, just creating layers of 16th notes, create a little rhythmic foundation. And they're doing that with like a plucked kind of sound. And then synth three has a more sustained uh, lead synth kind of sound. And then we've also added a string section down below. We have violins one and two playing these sustains and viola as well is sustaining. And notice with these sustains, we have dynamics. They're swelling in and swelling out. Um, usually sustains with these volume swells are really effective at creating some tension. And then we also have cello playing these rhythms. Up above, we have glockenspiel playing a few accents. And we also have some extra percussion that's not notated here, creating some energy in the background. Let's turn to measure five for a second. And right over here, we'll see that we're adding an instrument to the cello. We have plus CB8VB. Um, so if you don't know what that is, uh, plus CB means we're adding contrabass. Uh, we're adding a string bass to the cello part. So the contrabass will join the cello. They will play the same notes, except the contrabass will sound an octave lower, 8VB. That's what that means. And this is actually a really great, really fundamental orchestration technique called doubling. It's when one instrument copies what another instrument plays. And in doing so, it amplifies the impact of that phrase. So here, the contrabass doubles the cello. Up above, also in measure five, we introduce some flutes. You'll see that we have some synth strings doubling the flute part. We have a note here that the flute and synth string melody is offset by an eighth note. And basically what this means is they will sound syncopated. And this kind of leads into our second big point that we've changed the meter. I'm gonna to return to the flutes in a moment, but let's just back up for a second and look at the very beginning. I'd like to play the synth one and synth two parts with the cello. Here it is. So as we listen to this, the strong beats are on beats one and four. So if I play this on piano, um, we have this synth part and then cellos down here. So it sounds like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, that kind of thing. So our strong beats are one and four. 